For over 20 years, the Cashbox Kings have played their original Chicago blues sound touring all around the world. In this month's Morning Notes segment, photojournalist Christopher Haubacher shows us why it's important for them to keep the blues alive. She bring to the blind. See, that's the stuff you don't know about. See, I'll tell you. When I first started getting the blues, living in Chicago as a teenager, I started to sneak into some of the blues clubs on the west side and, and south side. And also, we'd go to Chicago Blues Fest every year, and I would just dream, well, maybe someday I could get on stage and, and just play in any blues bar. The Cash Fox Kings! I don't have any direct cultural links to the music myself, but I was lucky enough to meet musicians who, who did and, and learn the art from them. And then also a drummer, Kenny B.D.I. Smith, that I knew from Chicago, uh, whose father was Muddy Waters' drummer for 20 years. Now when I, I was born and raised down on 43rd Street, Chicago, which is now called Muddy Waters Drive, Hell, I was there to put money water. The co-leader of the band is my friend Oscar Wilson, who's an incredible musician from the South Side of Chicago. My father was a musician, and he was uh, died two months before I was born. People would hang around his house and play Friday night fish fry parties in his living room. Junior Wells, Elmo James, Honey Boy Edwards, and uh, Big Smokey Smothers. Uh, happened to be my nephew's father. We're working hard to keep real blues, real regular blues alive. And we're working hard to keep it alive. So we feel that it's important to carry on the legacy of this music? It's the music that I know and love. There's something about it. I think when people hear it, when you play it, it hits you at a, a very raw, emotional level. That's the blues, y'all. It's about uh, real Chicago blues, not rock blues, blues. Brand new, brand new We've played all around the world, and there is no town like Madison as far as people letting loose and just dancing. <laughs> I think there's something about playing for kids. Kids just naturally are inclined to, to connect with music. Who else got a harmonica? <laughs> and out of those kids, that'll stay with them. Julian harmonica, how about You know what I'm saying? That blues thing will stay with them. So you never know. One of these kids might walk out of your day at the harmonica, and you know, 20 years from now, they're a musician. Yeah. But now we come so many years later, what, 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 why, what's kept you guys playing together? I guess fate and uh, friendship. You know, I'm real close with Joe Nosek. Our co-leader, Oscar Wilson, was diagnosed with stage four cancer that had spread to his spine. Coincidentally, his oncologist was a huge blues fan uh, who knew our music uh, and gave Oscar like world-class care. And fortunately, uh, his prognosis is, is looking way better. Come on, y'all! We got one of the most original, real blues band that's left in the city of Chicago, anywhere. The blues is not perfect. The blues is how you feel at time. More of a heartfelt thing, you know, and you uh, feel it in your heart. And you know when you feel it because you get the feeling in here. Not just here, but you get it in here too. You can see Oscar and Joe of the Cashbox Kings tonight at the Crystal Corner on the east side, as well as these other low shows in the Madison area. If you'd like to contribute, Oscar has a GoFundMe for his medical expenses at the address seen on your screen.